Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 153 of uh, Phoenix Point, and I have been uh, doing a bit of trading in between the last episode, once, once we cleared the nest. And the reason is that uh, I'm recording this is because we are actually getting updates on the Pandora virus as we... Uh, Re finish more research and it makes for interesting reading and also uh, I think as an odd as, as you got you guys out there might actually want to have some follow-on story regarding what's happening a Pandora virus until now we believe the Pandora virus to be a nucleocytoplasmic large DNA virus that rapidly mutates any living organisms in an unusually directed way incorporating dna from multiple species to create the horrors we have witnessed the suggestion that the pandora virus could be extraterrestrial was widely debated by scientists in the 2020s due to its enormous genome size and the dis dissimilarity of many of its genes to those of any other life form on earth many suspected that its intelligent seeming behavior could not be fully explained by the usual evolution, uh, evolutionary uh, evolutionary models. Our analysis incorporating new data from the cryogenic facility, the Chinese sinkhole, and the Siberian lab confirms three facts with worrying implications. The Pandora virus existed on Earth long before the current outbreak. The Pandora virus is non-terrestrial in origin. The Pandora virus is the product of design, not evolution. So it makes the, this is part of the storyline. There have always been rumors that maybe the Pandora virus wasn't from Earth. That some alien disease had come down from the stars like a plague from heaven. But now that we finally had the evidence we needed, we realized the truth was more terrible than that. The Pandora virus was alien, yes. But it wasn't a disease. It was a bioweapon. We were not alone, and whatever was out there wanted us dead. None of this had deterred Randolph Symes. He continued his quest, hoping that whatever his great-grandfather had buried in Oglethorpe University's time vault held the answers he needed. We would have to hope that he was right. Okay, so hopefully this will... Uh, okay, new site of uh, the Time Vault. Uh, we need to investigate Oglethorpe University's Time Vault where Randolph Symes Sr. B buried a collection of files that might shed light on the history of the Pandora virus. The coordinates have been uploaded to our system. A uh, site added to Geoscape. Our research uh, regarding the nature of the Pandora virus has caused a great deal of controversy within the factions. Tobias West sees our research as confirmation of what New Jericho has always preached. The Pandorans are invaders. A military solution is the only way forward. And anyone who disagrees is hoping as helping the enemy. In Sinidrian, internal de debates rage. What are the socio-political rights of creatures created by a bioweapon? Should we even be trying to coexist? Uh, for the disciples of Anu, uh, there is no official statement from the Exalted or the Synod of Yearning. But rumors suggest they are neither surprised nor worried. So Jericho's attitude to Phoenix Project Plus 3, uh, Synedrion's uh, attitude to Phoenix Project Plus 2. And they have added... Um, Okay, uh, what is this one? Uh, once more into the maze. Oh, Time Vault. Okay, okay, that's there. Uh, and our, I think, this is our Helios 4. Uh, Helios 5 is here. Helios 6 is parked over here. Helios 7 is headed towards the prime manticore is here okay uh we have two and three are here and um i think we're ready to go down to the time vault to check it out uh, at the same time once we have done the time vault maybe we can 
come all the way down here right uh, this is uh, no uh, what this is the burden and then we can also inspect this uh, I believe let's check on the crew members to find out if they are fully recovered fully recovered recover recover recovered uh, that is Helios 3 this is Helios 2 yeah, they're fully recovered. Eagle Martinez. Okay. So we can send down... Okay, let's hold... Uh, save the game at this part. And so that was another uh, major step forward in our main storyline. And, uh, and I'm looking here if... So our miss repellers are starting to uh, spread out, and hopefully um, we will uh, be there will be lesser incursions, and then we can once we have uh, a more stable situation. Oh, the thing is, we still have not. Uh, I think we still need to work on. Not not Antarctica, but on uh, Australia, right? No, no, this is not Australia. <laughs> it is on this side, dummy. <laughs> okay, uh, Australia is on the Eurasian side. Yes. Yep. No, Eurasian side. That is here. Yeah, right here. Wow, I can't. I don't even know my geography. Uh, checking are they uh, 4 for 12 okay uh, 4 for 6 so uh, we can start trading wait wait no 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 uh, what I'm trying to do okay we're sending uh, Helios 2 and Helios 3 down here Helios 3 okay come here down here Trade nine for two, definitely. Uh, four for six, yes. Oh, that's those are good trades. Those are good trades. Um, what's, what is this one? This is this is Helios four. That's our A team. Our A team hasn't done anything lately. <laughs> uh, Except they have been doing a lot of trades. Uh, what is this? Uh, two for twelve. Uh, huh. We do have a lot of food, though. Uh, over, over here. I think they need food. Yeah, but they haven't uh, recovered yet. Okay. Uh, Crew of Hill. Oh. The writings of my great grandfather recount his mission to Oglethorpe University and the Time Vault. It was here in 1936 that he deposited the files, sealed aluminium containers that were locked away to be opened in a thousand years. Did he know what those files contained? I'm not sure. He was a wily old devil. I have the documents before me now. They prove what I had previously only suspected. A technologically advanced hominin civilization existed on this planet long before Homo sapiens came along. They flourished until something destroyed them. But some of them must have survived. Or where did the stories come from? Somehow, they must have won. I know that some of my operatives think I've lost it. It doesn't matter. I have to keep searching. If I find the answer, it'll have all been worth it. Okay, uh, the riddle. Phoenix... Phoenix Mally? At this point, Symes' notes become hard to make sense of. He seems to have investigated an archaeological site of some kind and noted down several fragments of antediluvian writing, which led him to what wherever he went next. Uh, we would need to reconstruct the writing to figure out his final destination. Time Vault Exploration Site. According to his notes, 
Randolph Symes III discovered that his great-grandfather had buried a trove of documents and samples largely belonging to the Phoenix Project's predecessors organizations in Oglethorpe on a university's time vault. There is little left of the university itself, but the time vault still exists. It's been opened, presumably by Symes, but is still safe from Pandoran infestation. Retrieve time vault contents. Okay, so we have a new research. Uh, what are we, what is this? Mutation technology, uh, antediluvian proto-civilization. Soldiers gain additional 10% experience from missions and training. Yes, that is what we want directly. Come on, come on, come on. We want that. Bring it right to the top. Oh, we have medical nanites too. And this one, medical bay healing at bases increased by 50% and plus 20 healing bonus in battle. Yes, wow, those are really good stuff. Uh, Pandoran Lair. Wow, that's long. I think let's do this. Antediluvian. Uh, and then there's mutation technology. Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, what are we manufacturing? Okay, we are manufacturing, yes. Uh, and... Okay, uh, the Bionic Fortress, an unexpected... Uh, complete research of uh, Siren Vivisection. Uh, complete research Pandoran Lair. Once more, complete research. Oh, we have, okay, uh, Anti Diluvian. Yep, let's finish that. But in the meantime, uh, while they are developing that maybe we can send both teams down now right because we just uh, exploration site we finished that that is okay let us save this so we can send them down to the burden and then on to the next one Helios 2 Wow, this is going to be very chancy, right? This is the burden. Construction complete. Uh, construction complete. Uh, Mr. Peller constructed Phoenix Horn of Africa. Okay. Uh, ooh. That's seven. Manticore is two. Yes, we want them together. Uh, uh, anvil armor is done. Wait, uh, the lag is causing me trade two for twelve. Let's look for one that wants to trade. Yeah, but they are, yeah, they haven't respawned yet. Um, so the recruits tells us, so in one day, so it, uh, everything will not respawn for a while. Um, hmm. How about up here? Yeah, we used up all of their uh, materials. How about these guys? 
yeah they're out of materials too okay wow uh they're out of tech they're out of materials okay that's our um that's our team uh our a team is in that one um So do we want to open this one because uh no no it is within wait are we doing our miss repeller here store and miss repeller we might have to open this one uh the reason is that us once the um wow it takes 900 no no that is too much money uh what's available uh energy generator and a research lab no that's not uh that's not very important for us so right now we have uh seven planes so two over here two going to south america one coming down to um to uh australia so that makes five and then Manticore and two uh, this is one and one over here I think I can't remember what the other one is okay uh, so this is Helios 4 uh, we don't have we don't have that much I, I don't want to trade away all our tech what, what can we get here wow that's 10 materials for complete yeah let's trade for this this one is just not worth it right that's too much uh... huh. yeah there are not this guys I think we have drained their materials Ten is to two. Not. Uh, I don't think we have that many. Let's see how many materials. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, trade, trade, trade. Uh, wow, that was sort of drained most of our materials. Then where can we get more materials? Maybe up here? And here. Yeah, let's... But this one also needs materials here, I think. Or we can trade them food, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of materials. Uh, 10 is to 1. We barely make any money here. Okay, um... Yeah, it's getting really laggy. Uh-oh. Trade out. They want materials. We... That's what we don't have. Yes, we don't have materials. Ouch. Okay. Uh, maybe we should explore this first. Ok, 
10 for 2. No, we don't have. Yeah, we don't have materials. I guess we just need to sit down for now. How about here? 4 for 6. Uh, they, uh, they don't have anything. Um... Five, six, and seven. We just traded for, yes. I think that's a manticore, okay. Yeah, I think they're all out. <laughs> How about here? Uh, yeah, they're all out too. Uh, no, that is... How about over here? Uh, two for 12, they're also out. Ten for two, no. Four, four, six, no. Not a good deal. Oh, they want materials. We don't have materials. Ouch. Eight for two. So we need materials. Okay, um... We, we need these guys to refresh. Um... Because there's nobody in the oh sorry okay. The old world is gone, and yet it haunts us. There are those who dream of taking us back to those dark days before the flood, when greed ruled and change seemed impossible. Sins and lies are difficult to kill, but kill them we shall, with the blessing of the dead god. New Jericho will fall, and the faithful will rejoice. Whoa, what is this? What is this? They're going what? Uh... I always argued for giving New Jericho another chance. Maybe there was more to Tobias West than greed and self-importance. Maybe New Jericho could be a force for good after all. Maybe they even believed in freedom like they kept saying. I was wrong. For that... I apologize, but at least we tried. Now we know that war really is the only option. Whoa, that means Anu and Sinidrian are going after New Jerry. Come on, guys. Oh. This is an emergency. We have identified a massive force of hostiles converging on the command fortress. Your assistance is required. If we are friends, this is the time for you to step up. We have reason to believe the Ugothian entity is aware of our work and is seeking to wipe us off the map before we can properly set up our defense grid. Tobias West is here and he is ready to fight. He's not going to stand on the sidelines and let others die for his plan. But if we lose him, we lose everything. We need your help. I'm not asking, I'm begging. Oh no, we are forced into this war. The Phoenix Project is ready. I knew uh, we could rely on you. Uh, site added to Geoscape. City upon a hill. A new diplomatic mission has been received from New Jericho. Ouch. Okay. Um, hmm. 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 Uh, where is that? Uh, city on a hill. What? Why is it not here? 
Oh, see the other. <laughs> what am I saying? I can't even see it. Ooh. Uh, we're, oh, that is in Latin, uh, South America, right? That's Manticore 2. Whoa. Where is it? We're sitting on a hill. Oh, up there, man. Ouch. Oh. Is there a, a complete city on the hill? Okay, so there is no time limit, I guess, right? City on the hill, uh, defend the command fortress from a Pandoran incursion. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, there is no, there's no time clock, right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can come down here finish that do this and then head up there okay uh, I think um, Arthron VV section with antediluvian archaeology that's another thing. Uh, that's 10 hours. Ah. Uh, what does it do? Extreme global warming caused by the spread of Pandora virus throughout the world's oceans revealed many sites of interest. With this, we are prepared to get back on track and discover the secrets of the ancients once and for all. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Um, there goes our timer. So um, anyway, I guess this we need to save the game. Uh, let's save it into another area. So uh, if we need to go back to the previous one, we can. <sighs> so at least, yeah, at least there is no time constraint here. Right? On this one. Yeah, this is city on a hill. So we can do this and then hit this. Uh, once, once more into the maze, and then come back here, and then going back to rest here. Okay, so, wow, a lot of activity is happening in the west. I guess uh, this one. We need to send that uh, plane back because it doesn't have anybody in it. That's why it cannot... Uh, it cannot do any exploration. Uh, so here it is. Uh, Merlin says, uh, studying the data, my gift, my curse. All sat down in little numbers. How strange. Somehow it makes it all seem a lot more more ordinary. I'm glad in a way I shouldn't start believing my own myths, should I? No matter how useful they are. Continue. I can bear it. I can hear it all, you know, uh, Merlin continues. All my soldiers' thoughts. I, it was supposed to be a system of giving orders more quickly, but it does a lot more than that. I can hear their fears, their doubts, their hopes, all of it, all the time, and I can't switch it off. People in the Haven think I'm all-knowing because I'm always aware of everything my soldiers see. But it's it's a burden. It's hard enough to be responsible for people's lives. But their souls, it is too much. Uh, so I'm very grateful for your help. You've given me hope that one day I can enjoy a moment, just a single moment of silence. Nice. Okay. Okay, I guess this would be...